Hi, I'm Jenny Blake. I'm the McCall District Ranger. Uh, I just had the fortunate uh, opportunity to uh, count sheep as they they came on to the Payette National Forest. Um, grazing has taken place on this on the National Forest lands for over 100 years, and specifically through McCall and Bear Basin area before the establishment of the Payette National Forest in 1908. Even though Bear Basin is is a popular recreation area, 30 years ago. More, and less than 30 years ago. There weren't even trails here and most of the this area was utilized for for grazing and a little bit of hunting. Um, so grazing is an important part of our history and uh, a really great opportunity to, to mesh the past and the present. One of the interesting things about uh, working for the National Forest is uh, the multiple use aspect of the National Forest and Bear Basin is a really great uh, great opportunity to see that where recreationists and, and historic grazing occur in, in the same thing. I'm seeing the, the sheep and the sheep dogs working the animals is really really awesome. One of the things that you know we do get calls from recreationists who are concerned about the sheep coming through and the dogs and they're nervous about the dogs or the horses and the mules uh, so just a few tips in terms of, of uh, when you come upon a sheep van um, first of all if you're on a mountain bike or a motorcycle or, or ATV stop um, if you're on a mountain bike get off your mountain bike um, if one of the dogs comes up to you put your mountain bike between you and the dog Generally, if you're not moving fast, um, they won't put, see you as a threat. Those animals are working dogs, they're not pets. Even though they may come up to you, just let them be um, and let them do their thing. Generally, if you, if you don't show fear, uh, they won't get too upset. Those are the guard dogs. There's some big, big white dogs or big dogs that are kind of the guard dogs and then there are the, the actual working dogs that help herd the sheep. Um, there again, their job is to herd the sheep. So, you know, don't entice them with food. Don't, um, you know, let them do their job. The other um, thing is the sheep herders often have horses and mules. You know, there again, they're not pets. They're working animals. Um, and it's it's really great to see all this happen on the on the national forest. Um, so yeah, when you're when you're going through an area and you come upon a sheep band, slow down, stop, let the sheep band go through. Don't try to pet the animals. Um, and then once they go through, um, or you can walk through if if they're kind of bedded down. But once once they're kind of on their way, or you get through the band, you can get back on your bike or start walking or running or whatever. Grazing on the National Forest, like I said earlier, is uh, one, of our, one of our historic uses. The benefits are, are wide ranging in terms of providing meat, um, providing wool, um, providing local um, economic opportunities, and also in certain areas can help with fuel reduction. So it's, it is a great benefit to, um, to continue with grazing on the National Forest. We embrace having the sheep and the um, sheep herders on the National Forest. 